I mean, today we had a little bit more sunshine and I don't know, it feels like springtime out there, doesn't it? Uh, we had some cloud deck uh, that uh, really was only over us, uh, pretty much crossroads because the rest of the state is cleared out. And in fact, they're much warmer than we are as uh, they are getting direct sunshine. And of course, you know, the situation up in uh, the Panhandle, uh, I wish I could tell you it was getting better, but it, it's not really, even though they had the snow that went through there, what's happening is now the winds are going to kick up again. Now, this is not uh, a temporary thing. In March, we get the March winds. What does that happen? Well, lower pressure is moving farther and farther north, so the winds across Texas are strong out of the south. I mean, this is a seasonal thing we watch every year, um, but the March winds are going to kick in and looks like all of the panhandle will be under uh, fire danger over the weekend, even after everything that already passed. So whatever hasn't burned is still possible that it may um, take off. And so they're telling everybody to be very cautious with anything that looks like flames outdoors. Now here's future tracker and you can see how very little weather is going to be happening for us. We're seeing the cloud deck go away. That's for Saturday. So that looks good. But then it sort of comes back on us on Sunday. So it's not going to be you know, clear and blue, but all, all, all things considered, not a bad looking weekend uh, for getting out in the backyard. You're going to be looking at 80 degrees on both days or at least upper 70s. And then we get to Sunday and we see a lot more deeper cloud cover roll back in. So it's going to be on the partly to mostly cloudy side, but still overall, no, nothing to really mess up your weekend. Uh, temperatures, well, you're going to like this one. Look at this, 78, 80, 81, all the way through early next week until Wednesday when the next little frontal system starts moving through our area. But now in March, it's going to get real hard to get a cool front actually moving through. These are the forecast highs tomorrow, upper 70s for us. You're looking at mid 80s throughout much of the central part of the state and Amarillo will be, um, you know, up into the upper 70s, but it's the wind, it's the low humidity and it's the dry brush because a lot of the stuff has not greened up yet for the springtime, even though we've had so much mild weather. Uh, while uh, we are sort of settling down and having a relatively nice weekend, uh, it is a howling storm out on the western states. So this has been dumping tremendous rain uh, snowfalls, five to ten feet, which is a lot of snow. And now it's rolling out of the uh, northwest into the northern Rockies. Now, the reason we're okay is because the storm center is now going to cut up into Canada. So the tail end of that front is going to get down to our area. It's going to slow down. It's going to have time to moderate the temperature on both sides. But as we get into Wednesday, it may have just enough oomph to make it through here and actually give us a little bit of a north wind, knock the temperature down maybe five degrees. Other than that, it's not going to be much of, of a front as far as we're concerned. So partly cloudy tomorrow in Port Lavaca, getting up to about 75. Not bad. The winds will be coming back out of the south. So you'll be familiar with those. We'll start at 58, get up to 78 in Cuero. And as I said, it's a good looking weekend. Temperatures pushing up into the uh, near 80s after a little bit of morning fog. That's your seven day forecast reminding everybody we have a QR code.